Hey guys, it's Venetia, and today I am going to be starting another reading vlog. So today is February 8th, and literally Magnolia Parks 5 is coming out next week, and I'm so excited. I've already pre-ordered the book, and I was then thinking, mm, I haven't read the fourth book yet. Why am I excited about the fifth book? So I'm going to fix that. I'm about to start The Great Undoing, which is the second Daisy Hates book and the fourth book of the Magnolia Parks universe series. And... Yeah, I have heard that this book is amazing, fantabulous, emotional, will love Julian after this. And you know what? I'm ready for that. I, I'm i ready to love Julian. I I feel like him in Long Way Home was so good, but he has just done some very questionable things. And I just, I need some explanation on that. We can't, I can't just let that slide. Like, he seems like a genuinely bad person right now, based on who he's associating with at the end of Daisy Hates 2. So, let's get into it. I'm very excited. So I'm 60 pages into the book and I have some thoughts. So the first, I kind of forgot, I wouldn't say forgot, but I, I remembered very like, very critical plot details from the first Daisy Hates book. So I kind of forgot a little bit of what happened and like, wow, the sibling dynamic is so messy and they're just both so stubborn. Like they're just playing chicken because they both want the other to reconcile with them. And it's just like, you can't both be like the child in the relationship here where you both want the other person to say I'm sorry first, but uh, so messy, so messy. Next thought is uh, Julian is such a like lover boy. This is a heart. Um, Julian is such a lover boy. That like one chapter where he ha he's like interacting with Magnolia They're so cute. I just, watching that interaction from his perspective, it was so, so cute. It was so cute. And then I, I just got to the part where Daisy's stalkers tried to kidnap her. And like, why, why did Grace have to die just right there? That was, that was so out of left field. Like, okay, after the whole like flower debacle, I was like, okay, she's getting kidnapped or there's going to be a kidnap kidnapping attempt but oh, r.i.p grace like what what just wrong place wrong time and i honestly it's i read the first daisy hates in last may and i forgot how strong the mafia vibes are like this is i don't know why i thought that was just like a light like just kind of ambiance it wasn't like a real central part of the book and like that sounds so dumb for me to say because like julian's like literally the head of like a gang but like i just forgot how heavy it was this i forgot how heavy the daisy hates books are on the mafia aspect so i i was shocked i was shocked but yeah i'm enjoying it i i feel like i just like got like totally I just got totally captivated into this book like I just looked up and like pages had just flown by and that's really saying something because the first Daisy Hates book I like took a while to get into not that it was bad I just didn't find Daisy as like interesting I think that's why I liked Magnolia being there because I was like oh my girly Magnolia is here but yeah I'm I'm jumping in like it's only been 60 pages and quite a lot has happened and yeah, this is quite fast paced writing and I think that's really driving with me. I'm I'm enjoying this book. It's it's shaping up to be quite
quite good. We haven't really gone into the deep like emotional stuff, but like I can tell it's coming. I can definitely tell it's coming. Okay, let's dive right back in. We're in the next day right now and I'm on page 140 and I have some thoughts. So first, honestly, I don't really care about this whole Daisy Tiller drama. Like, we know that they're not endgame, so I feel like it's just kind of dragging on. Like, I just, I don't like Tiller. He's kind of just not meant for Daisy's world, and then it kind of makes her feel bad about it, and then she has to hide things. Like, that's obviously not, that's obviously not the, uh, ground to build a relationship on. So, like, I can't wait for them to break up. And I just want Christian and her to get together because Daisy just deserves to just live her life happily. You know what I'm saying? So I think in my last clip or when I first started, I was like, mm, can't wait to love Julian. And then I was. I was loving Julian. I was like, oh my gosh, so nice. What a lover boy. And then like I kept reading and I was like, I don't like Julian. He, why is he trying to humble Magnolia? Like, tell me. Like, Magnolia is the it girl. Like she's not meant to be humbled like and so now i don't like julian again so that's the update right now so i did not update yesterday because i was just fully in the depths of the drama that's happening right now so i made it to page 310 and I have some thoughts. So first of all, I think I've been going back and forth so much on these characters and being, especially Julian, where I was like, mm, I think I like him. And then I was like, no, he's doing this. He's doing that. Like he's trying to humble Magnolia, but then he's also like being so sweet to her, doing all these things for her, like trying to be around her all the time, like in a non-toxic way. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm so, I think I've realized I just want to enjoy the, or I just enjoy the series more if I just go along with the drama instead of thinking about if I like each character because they all just have their own flaws. And like, yes, I can see why they those come out in certain uh, situations, but I don't know. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to ride the rest of the series just enjoying the drama and not so much the characters. That being said though, I have developed a little bit of a soft spot for Christian and Daisy together. I just feel like Christian is just so like, you know, I fumbled and I gotta, I gotta really make amends and like get my girl. And that's so cute. And then Daisy's just like, you know what? I, I like literally couldn't pick anyone else. Like you've been that, that person for me. So you know what? Them together, love that for them. I like their relationship more than Magnolia and BJ's. But I think that Magnolia and VJ's relationship is more entertaining. So like, I like them both for different reasons. Also, when um, Daisy is trying to like fix Christian's parents' relationship at that gala was so sweet. I, I was like, this is just, she's just doing her thing. She's just making, I don't know. I just feel like that was just so healing because I feel like Daisy's pr like, Daisy entering their lives or Christian's family life and then just healing his parents relationship that was just so out of left field I didn't even know I wanted to see that but like I did Daisy's such a girl boss for that one I've just finished this book and wow that was that was unhinged first of all i love to see that daisy and magnolia's friendship is getting stronger i think i forgot about that part from long way home because it's been a while but i love them together they're so cute and i just ah, love to see it daisy and magnolia friendship over everything but then ah, watching julian watch magnolia literally get targeted and get into a car accident where her whole car is literally like flipped over that's oh, 
that was so sad that was so sad and then daisy getting like literally abducted not knowing what's happening in front of the hospital and then christian banging on the on the window trying to like break it open oh my gosh that was so sad and then we see that julian was like so distraught over magnolia that he had to like be medicated It was so sad. I, I'm kind of happy I waited because this book is definitely more emotionally impactful in my opinion than Long Way Home was. So I'm happy I waited because Into the Dark is coming out literally in two days, three days. So yeah, this was, this was very good. I think overall I'm going to rate it 4.25. Yeah, I think 4.25 is pretty decent for this book. Um, Oh my gosh, wait. Isn't this literally the cutest thing ever? I was I've been meaning to point this out. Isn't this so cute? He loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. He loves me. He loves me, not. He loves me. That's so sweet. I I noticed that when I like first started reading the book, and then I was like, I should point this out, and then I kept forgetting. But isn't that so sweet? That's so cute. I love this. <sighs> Cause Christian loves Daisy. It's so cute. And yeah, I don't really have any meaningful commentary about this book. I just wanted to capture my feelings about this. It was so good. I just... I feel like Julian and Magnolia were never going to work out. They were just... They were very good together, I think. They were both like... It was healing... That relationship was healing for Julian because he was like, Oh, I can be loved. And then it was healing for Magnolia because she was just like, Oh, I can be loved. But they're just, just Magnolia and BJ are just meant to be together. Yeah, that was tragic. That was very tragic. I was also reminded that uh, BJ's birthday is on Valentine's Day. And with a name like BJ Valentine, like, isn't that a little, like, on the nose? I don't know. That was just so cool. But anyways, this book was a sleigh. It gave me a lot of emotional weight to what happened in Long Way Home.